Hi, I'm Andrew Simpson with Ether Automation. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your Zoho CRM so that you can accept um, event registrations. So let's say you run a, um, what did I write down here? A conference, right? A yearly or quarterly or monthly conference. And at that conference, you have a number of events, right? So people will sign up to get tickets for the conference. And then they need to sign up for events because you only have a certain amount of seats at those events, right? Well, let's say they're either panels or, you know, Q&As or, or, you know, round tables or whatever you want to call them at this conference. So the question is, how do you set this up in Zoho CRM? Now, I'm going to share my screen here. Hopefully, I share the right screen. Otherwise, this will be a short video. So I'm in my Zoho CRM. And, um, I had to delete a bunch of the modules from our previous video. At the top, I have a bunch of these, these things, these, these modules. Um, and let's start out by creating some modules we know exist. So again, you run a conference company, right? And let's say every year you have a conference with those you know, uh, events or panels at them. So let's start by creating the things we know we need to create in our CRM. So let's go to uh, create a new module. And this one's actually super duper simple, right? We're gonna call this conferences. Done, very simple. Let's remove this field. Yes, remove this field. Let's remove this field. Yes, remove this field. And let's add a date, two dates. A start date and an end date. Administrator will give this to everyone. So now that we have a conference, what happens? Well, we know that people register for the conference, right? So in a new tab, I'm gonna open up and let's create what's called a registration. Registrations, registration. So people register. So contacts will register for a um, conference. So we know, I'm going to remove this and I'm going to remove this as well. So we know that there should be a lookup to a um, contact. And so contacts, the latest list will be uh, conferences attended. And this will be required. Done. So we know that someone is registering for a conference. Now we also need to say which conference they're registering to. So um, conference, we conferences, attendees. Great, save. And let's give this to everyone. So, now that we have a conference and people can register for that conference, now we want to have events at this conference, right? <clears throat> so let's create an event, uh, or actually, because it's, it's easier to imagine, let's call it a panel, panels, right? If you've ever been to a um, Star Trek convention, there are panels at the Star Trek convention where you talk to the people there. So let's click done. And we want to relate the panel to a conference, right? Because at the Star Trek convention, right? The Star Trek conference, there is a panel, right? right? So this year there was a panel for, you know, something interesting. So let's go conferences, related list title. Um, panels at conference. Required. Done. And then also at the event is the at the at the at the panel there are attendees. So let's click multi-select lookup because you could have multiple people at this event. And let's go uh, panel attendees. 
registrations. Um, panels attended. Done. And let's click save. Share with everyone. And this is your basic structures. Now let's walk through how this looks, right? Let me click cancel and I'm going to start out and let's create a conference, right? So again, I'm going to use the example here of a Star Trek convention. So um, I don't know the name of the Star Trek convention, so we're going to do Comic-Con. Comic-Con. Uh, and then the year is 2022, so Comic-Con 2022. And it starts uh, then and ends Saturday. I don't know anything about Comic-Con, but let's just click Save. So now, at Comic-Con, I know there's a few um, panels. So let's click some panels. So um, panel name, um, Star uh, Trek um, Q&A. Okay, let's click Save and New. And let's go... Um, Marvel Q and A. Very simple. And let's click save. So now there are two, uh, two, two panels at this conference, right? Now we don't have any attendees going to Comic Con 2022. So let's click uh, new. Let's create a, a new attendee. So the contact, you know, Will Smith um, is going to be joining. So Will Smith. Um, and Will Smith is signing up to see the Star Trek Q&A, right? Let's click Save and New, and let's add another one. Uh, the test account, registration name. Uh, let's go Elon Muskrat. And Elon is going to multiple conferences or panels at this Q&A. So let's just confirm that and let's click save. So now that I'm at the conference, right, we have a number of these attendees and we have a number of the panels. And if I wanted, I can go to any one of these panels, right? And let's say I'm at the booth at the start, uh, at the beginning of the panel, checking people in, right? And someone comes up and they say their name is Elon Muskrat. I would see that Elon Muskrat is registered for this panel, right? And they could join. And so um, if I wanted to, let me go to here. Um, let me actually edit. I'm going to edit something and show you. Panels attended. Edit properties. Panels X registration. Sure. Click done. So if I'm go here. So I've got this panelized registration. However, let me refresh. Panel X registration. I may want to track to see if this person has checked in or not. And so let's actually do this. Let's go here, let's just click edit, edit page layout. And we'll do check box and we'll checked in to panel question mark. Save and close. And then down here for, uh, let's refresh this page. Cancel. So let's say we're in this red, in this panel, right? And I want to see if Elon Muskrat has already checked in to this, um, to this panel. I can go in here and type in checked in the panel. Save. And I can see they haven't. So I can edit, checked in the panel, save. Now I can see that he has checked in. So if someone else says they're elongated muskrat, I know elongated muskrat is already in to see the panel and, and this person is, is lying. Um, or they forgot their ID or forgot themselves. And uh, in that case, you should call 911. Um, so I can go back to the conference and see the other panels and I can see there's a Marvel Q&A. 
Um, no, I just did that one. So there's a Star Trek Q&A. And there's two registrations for that, and neither one of them has checked in. And let's say then Will Smith checks in. I can click this, check in. And now we know that they've appeared on the panel. So this will help you track guests who have entered the conference um, and then help you track attendance at a specific panel within the conference. Um, and will allow you to track all of this going up to the contact, which if I go into Will Smith, you'll see down here, Will Smith has attended this particular conference. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next video.